Hey now, thanks for tuning in to Race Grooves. Here we have the first case of 2018. A, it's an A case assortment. Mattel Q is the last case of the year. They go A through Q, but they skip I and O because it, they look like numbers, I and O. So A is first case, Q is the last case. By the way, I was at a Mattel event uh, recently and they had some cars to give away. So I picked up this bone shaker. Check it out, 50. Hot Wheels, 50, and it says Hot Wheels, established in 1968. This is a USA card. It has guaranteed for life. USA, because these are sold in English-speaking countries, they don't have all the multiple languages of all the other uh, countries that they're sold. This case here has multiple languages. So some of this information is not going to be on those cases, or, or maybe it's going to, I should say it differently, this might look different than the international case, C4982. That's how we know it's international packages for USA packages. English, L2593. When these appear in the USA, this is basically what the cards are going to look like. And it's nice that Hot Wheels and Mattel are celebrating 50 years of Hot Wheels. Love these tires. They look fantastic. Really look good on the bone shaker. Let's go ahead and get started with the A-Case assortment. First assortment of the year. By the way, somebody at Mattel opened it up. This is double taped. And then uh, afterwards, it was, we know it was double taped at the factory. And it's okay because, look, they, they put this second layer of tape to show that uh, it's still sealed. And I guess no funny business. I'm not sure... Sure would be nice to get a super again, just like I did in that case. That was fantastic. Uh, here we go. Um, I I know how to look for supers. You know what? Uh, I forgot to I forgot to peek around to see what exactly are uh, the basic treasure hunt for this case. I'm not sure. Oh, by the way, these are 28. This is the 2018 case. The, you're still going to see 2017 releases, right? Because it's just the next case. So there's always carryover like this right here. Nissan Fair Lady. Uh, this is from 2017. As a matter of fact, that's the super I got in that case. Dun, dun, dun. That case right there. I got the super treasure. Hunt. So now if you watch that, now you know what the regular wheels look like. And then you can watch that video if you would like to know what the super treasure hunt looks like. Uh, I said again... Uh, special tires rubber paint I can't help it it's a mistake and right here the super will have a TH so if you find that that's a that's a fantastic find right there here you have H oh here's a series HW fun park hmm fun park hey, it looks like we're gonna have hmm, loopster maybe loopster is that's I think that's the name right loopster I think that's gonna be in it oh yeah it's like a carnival this is a bumper car in a carnival Five cars in the series. Mm, what do you think the other three cars are going to be for HW Fun Park? It would be, you would think it'd be like arcade themes. I'm not sure. Here's a look at the back. And here's what we're talking about. All the multiple languages. Very, very different than the USA packages. Uh, I guess in the USA they have something going on HotWheels.com. You can enter a code. That's not available internationally. But they do have some type of core. You can build your collection. Or I don't do that stuff. I just collect the cars. Four out of five. Mm, that's something I, I... Let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Skip some stuff. HW450F. There's that bone shaker. International. So now I can compare. So it looks like the USA packages are going to have the 50 on there. What? You can't celebrate it internationally as well? Come on. I think it's because of... Uh, they don't want to have to interpret. They don't want to have to interpret things to multiple languages like they do on the back. Look, uh, let me tell you something real quick. If I may be honest with you, K for Racer when it first came out, I stated that it's not quite my thing. I love this car now. I, it's just really, really growing on me. Looks fantastic. Urban Outlaw on the back. Urban Outlaw for Magnus Walker. There's this autograph right there, or a signature. You didn't really autograph 100,000. I'm sure they make tons of these things. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, I'm keeping them uh, in order on the side. Fast Feed Lion. Here you have the custom 69 Chevy pickup, the Hollinator. 
That was in the last case. Last case. This is new. Let's take a look in the corner, by the way. 365. Uh, let's see. And I heard that uh, I seen something. It's going to be 365. Uh, we can check this one real quick. Uh, we know this is a new series, right? So there you go. 365 different cars to collect. Got a broken finger now. 365 cars to collect for next year, if you so choose. Uh, just like this year, 365. And then they had other, they had cars without numbers. They had recolors that were not part of the series. Ah, uh, whatever. Buy what you like. That's a nice one. Look at that. Custom 01 Acura Integra GSR. Pretty cool decals. And if you haven't noticed, JDM is taking over Mattel and Hot Wheels. Definitely seeing a lot of imports. When I was at that show, I'm going to show some video of some of the cars that were at that show. I should have got, anyways. Uh, I'm going to show them in the weekend show. Night Burners continuing for 2018. Hopefully, I haven't been messing that up too often. Nice decorations for a basic, basic car. Muscle Speeder, Growler from last year. Here you have the Corvette Z, C7 Z06 convertible. I do believe this is a 2018 new model. Let's take a look at it. There you have tail light decorations. I don't see any body decorations. So tail lights and headlights. And I will be continuing track time so you can suggest a model or two for track time. Let's see what the base code is. K29. I think it's 49. 29. I have to check another one. A little hard to see. Sometimes uh, people like to follow along when they were produced. 29, K29 for the Corvette C7 Z06 convertible. What a name. Uh, isn't there a convertible showing up in the matchbox again as well? I forget, I forget if it was a Corvette. Doing it up. There you have the uh, 95 Mazda RX-7. And we'll look at the RX-7 in a second. Ram 1500. How is that for a big old truck? Man, it's huge, huge in the package. Nice decorations on the blister, on the car. Wow, they really uh, they really did a good job making it appear like the graphics wrap around. Not on the tailgate, but it looks fantastic. Excellent. Very nice release. And let's take a look at the Mazda RX-7. Uh, if, I, if, I, if I'm correct, this appeared at the end of the year. This, appe this appeared, let's get this up here. This disappeared at the end of the year. So this is a, uh, I think it's a 2017 new model. So it gets a recolor in 2018. Mm, uh, you'll know speak uh, Japanese, so I, I don't know what that means. 95 Mazda RX-7. Mm, looks like we have a flaw in the front of the grill right there. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't recall if it was on... If it's an in, a intentional dimple for something in the actual car, I don't know. Hey, this looks like it's in the same series as that truck, HW Daredevils. Why? Well, I'll have to look it up. Sure had this kind of decorations. Looks good. Ah, pretty cool. There you have the 70 Chevelle SS wagon. I'm sure Paul's going to be looking for that. Mr. Wooten, he loves his wagons. He's going to be looking for that. Have mixed wheels. I don't know if those are glow wheels. If it is, if they are, that would be the first time see glow wheels uh, if it if it is glow wheels it would be the first time that they mixed glow wheels on a model i don't recall any other car having a, a regular wheel and a glow in the dark wheel it's slightly different in color i'll, I'll hold that to a light in a moment let me see if that truck was a hw daredevils it was no hw hot trucks is the name of this series Mm, they used to give a list of the cars that were going to be in models that were in the series. They haven't done that in a while. Here's the new black Batmobile. Check it out. Got a little bit of artillery on top. I don't think uh, that's too small to be movable. But I take that back. It looks like it's a different color. The body is like a flat black, and that turret looks plastic. Uh, hold on a second here. Skyfy. Uh, you're just going to have to move on. So they call this one DC Justice League, D the Justice League Batmobile. And on the base, it says Made in Malaysia. Now, they don't put the actual name on the base, I don't see. It has a DC Comics uh, copyright, but they didn't put that name on the base. So who knows? That name could change. I don't know. Let's check out that turret. 
I don't know if it, it I don't know if it's part of the uh, interior right there because this is a flat black and it looks like it has like a, a separate part here. Here we go. Yeah, check it out. That's a tiny movable tow turret. Did you guys know that? Uh, I did not see anybody talking about that yet. But then again, not everybody opens up brand new Hot Wheels. Let's see what we have next. There's another Acura Integra. Oh yeah, this car was over there at this show. Got some video of that. Custom Datsun 240Z. They have that the car decorated exactly like that. 67 Mustang. I have to remember to put that video in the weekend show. Here's a, t here's a look at the graphics. Let's see, do we have tail light decorations? Nope. Oh, look how it's in multiple pieces. Custom Dotson. This is the Fubu C, right? I don't remember it being separate pieces right here. Anyways. Got the side view mirrors. I believe that's what those are. There's your uh, some decorations right there. I don't know if that's that JDM uh, club logo or not. Can't tell. I'm looking at a little monitor. You might be looking at a cell phone or if you're on a computer, you can look real big. Gazella R, this is one of the new models that appeared at the end of the year, 2017. Shark bite. Let's pick it up. Datsun 620. See, imports. Let's see, Datsun, Nissan, Volkswagen, yeah, a lot of imports uh, coming into the Hot Wheels line. I like the decorations. HW620 for the, for right there. There's that logo again right there. That's what I'm talking about all over the place. And the 17 Nissan GTR. I think this is another color, right? Is this a third color? I do believe. Volkswagen Golf Mark 7. I got it. I got it right the first time. It's not MK7. Thank you for letting me know. It takes me a little while, but sometimes I catch on, and then I'll forget. That's not MK7. Mark 7. That's how they print. That's how they enunciate that over there in Europe. Maybe the whole world, and I don't know. Gazella GT in gold chrome. It is super chromes. It might be, uh, judging by the number, 341. This is probably a 2017 release, carrying over into the 2018 cases. Hadn't been paying attention to any Circle Flame logos, by the way. Just looking at the cars. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let's see. Oh, another Nissan. Fancy that. And, of course, uh, all the adults were standing in line trying to get free cars, and they're all blocking people. And uh, there, this is one of the cars that they were trying to get. They have silver trim. It looks like they tried to do silver trim around the window. Got it around the front and the top. I'm not familiar with the real car, so I'm not sure how realistic if it should have the silver chrome trim around the whole window or not. I don't know. And here's a look at the uh, license plate. It has a Hot Wheels logo, and it might have some Japanese lettering above as well. Here you have the 82 Nissan Skyline R30 as I slow down waiting for the focus. Hey, five-spoke wheels back in the mix and plastic headlights. What for two? Sorry, you got overshadowed, you know, get it? Overshadowed. That was terrible. 17 Nissan GTR. No, what, what's the deal? Is this, a, this is the car, right? So hold on. Here you have fast 4WD, four wheel drive forward. I'm not sure. They won't tell me how to pronounce it. So here's, these two appear to be the same. So let's ha have a look at these. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do -do. 364, so this is the one that, this is the color that appeared at the end of 2017 in the Q case. Uh, this one might be a 2018 release for the A case. And I forgot, I thought it was kind of this color, unless they're, uh, unless somebody's putting older cars. I don't think so, because if they're gonna switch cars, and this was taped and resealed, uh, what's the base code? K24, K29, yeah, someone's swapping cars, or they found cars and they put them in the case, because this is five weeks ago. K24, K29, uh, I, th I thought that color looked familiar. So it looks like uh, someone over there is uh, hanging on to cars, 
or maybe they found somebody's stash and then they stuck it in the case or maybe something cooler than this was in the case and they took that instead I wonder what that could have been I'm just saying 67 Pontiac GTO came out at the in the Q case head starter kind of a uh, British deco there drift rod and Fiat 500 looking good got that satin paint kind of subdued kind of flat looking good since that uh, since your treasure hunt fiasco to where you got to put on a treasure hunt card and you weren't a treasure hunt it's always asked for comment and all they said was sorry about that sky dome I didn't ask him I just made that up we have sky dome pretty cool color super chrome series 2017 Camaro ZL1 I think this is a 2017 new model at the end of the year that did appear so it, did, it is carrying over into the next cases, so you have a chance to get it. Rally Cat in white. Uh, by the way, I have no idea if they're doing doing the thing to where they had. Uh, oh look, no number. Uh, I guess we. I guess we know. No number. So I guess they're doing non-numbered special recolors, uh, allegedly chase cars, but they're two per case. Renault Sport RS01. Mark, no need to be nasty, okay? Just just show us the cars, would you? And there's Boom Car. Is that one of the park rides? Yeah, that's one of the, uh, hey, track car. Part of the HW Fun Park. Nice carnival-type colorful decorations. Got another one of the 82 Nissan Skyline. R30. I don't remember saying R30 before. Sorry about that. Silver trim on top. Again, same thing. So I guess that's how it's supposed to be. Looking at the card, guess what? There it is. Silver trim up and over, but not on the back. Couldn't. I'm not familiar with the real car, so can't speak much about that. There's another uh, 81 Camaro. I should say another Camaro for the Camaro 50 series. Yeah, well, that was 2017. That was so old news. Mad props. Wait a second, is that a carnival? That could be carnival, actually. No, HW Daredevils. I was thinking because of the color, and you know, maybe it was like one of those Ferris wheel rides, or whether those rides where you spin around, you sit in the thing, and then the like the Dumbo ride at Disneyland, and you go around and spin in a circle. They could have made that, they could make that fun part. Dodge Viper R10 and 90 Acura NSX. I could have took this one. Uh, when they had cars out for us to pick a free car, I could have picked this one. And I thought, well, that's all right. I'll take the bone shaker. It's a nice car, but I know it's going to show up in the cases. And there it is, since they do the case unboxing videos. And down near the end, Corvette Racer, 69 Corvette Racer. A 2017 release, carrying over. Hey, Milano. This has been in quite a few cases, as a matter of fact. McLaren P1 in black. Love this colorway. Looks fan looks very bold. Looks fantastic. Two of them. Same wheels probably. PR5s. Same wheels. And there's another Volkswagen Golf. Mark 7. Yeah. I had to pause. Did I say Mark? I hope I didn't say Mark 7 before. Got a rally stripe on there. Uh, Mark 7. Mark. Mark 7. So confusing. Hey, Brendan's car, custom 67 Pontiac Firebird, Hot Wheels designer, Brendan Vituski. His car was there too. So I got video of that as well. Fast, blah, blah, blah. And got some white cars for the end. The Embosser, red, white, and blue. Check it out. Red, white, and blue. It'll fit in my collection. And last but not least, 62 custom Chevy pickup. And this was a carryover. I do believe this color was from 2017. Pardon the rough transition. I kind of noticed some stuff when I was putting it back in the case. Uh, let me take a break and then I'll talk about those right after the break. I was putting the cars away. And you know, I don't remember, I don't remember talking about this car, 67 Mustang. 
Uh, I don't remember mis mentioning it. I might have, but when I was putting them away, I was like, this is nice. I don't, re I don't remember calling this one out of the case. So in case I didn't give that one its due time, uh, now I just did. And this one right here, this is your basic treasure hunt in the case. Right in the back, you have the Circle Flame logo. I don't remember mentioning Stingrod 2 either. I don't know if it went by so quickly or if it got set aside and I was talking about something else. But uh, I don't know if I would have noticed that Circle Flame logo. There's your basic treasure hunt in the case. And you know what? Treasure hunts, they don't have the number up top, right? You have the collector number. Well, basic treasure hunts, super treasure hunts, uh, they don't have the collector number. I don't, eh, you know, I disagree. I think Mattel should just put the collector number on there. Make it part of the set, right? It's part of the set, isn't it? It's the treasure hunt for the, well, one of the treasure hunts of the year. But so be it. But they also do that with store exclusives. They don't put the collector number. Something else I think they started in 2017 is that they would have recolors of basic cars and they would not have the collector number. It was like an alternate color of the one that's going to be part of this series. And I don't have official information. There's, you know, people are stating that this is a chase piece or a treasure hunt. Uh, I don't buy it, okay? I did a case unboxing video, and some of these unboxing, some of these unlisted cars, they were two per case. Uh, that's not a chase, okay? They're not hard to find. People think just because, oh, it must be... Whatever, if you like it, buy it. That's fine, that's up to you. And I, I mentioned this in the Race Grooves community, and then someone pointed out that it seems like the HW Daredevil series is going to be the series to have these unlisted recolors. I don't, I don't remember which series it was in 2017. Well, here we have uh, number one of five, so HW Daredevils. No number, no number here on the HW450F. I know this one I went by quickly because uh, it's not particularly a model I collect. Uh, no number, that was number three. So I don't know what number two is at the moment. Here you have Rally Cat, non-numbered, uh, 505. I had these in order and then I got them out of order. 405, here you have the Mad Props model and no number. Uh, just like the basic treasure hunt over there, non-numbered. Now let me go ahead and talk about something. Oh, something else that uh, I should have done. It didn't dawn on me. Is I was talking about this year, that sh last year, and trying to tell by the number which one. Actually, the card art, you can tell this is 2017 because here's the 2018 card art. It has the uh, loops. It has like a little Hot Wheels city right here with track loops, Hot Wheels logo has the swirl and the USA package, like I already told you, is going to have the uh, 50 for 50th anniversary. And yeah, Mattel's going to have tons of 50th anniversary products for us to enjoy. And finally, I think finally, uh, as I, you know, I, with the Matchbox cards, I've been uh, counting, uh, with the Matchbox cases, i kind of been counting how many licensed models there were. And with Matchbox cases, it's always less than half. And then, I, to be honest, I, I started checking the Hot Wheels cases too. And it's like over half of the case was uh, fantasy models. Less than half were realistic licensed models. And I, I, didn't, I didn't start talking about this uh, for the Hot Wheels case unboxing videos. Well, that Mad Props is... I'm not able to put these on the same roll because that... I can't have two odd blisters in the same row. Anyways, as you can tell, there's a row up there, right? This time, over half of the case was licensed models. Uh, that took me by surprise. This would be an even number six if I had that there. So that means there's six less uh, fantasy models in the case. So over here, you got the uh, row right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That would be 36. That's half the case. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's there's more licensed cars. And you have to count these as licensed cars, right? Because these are actual licenses, right? Mattel has to pay a license to release the Batmobile. There's the uh, licensee information. DC, Warner Brothers, and 
Batman. Uh, this one as well. It's a it has the license for Guardians of the Galaxy, right? The Milano. So these are these are counted. You might think they're fantasy, but technically they're licensed. Mattel has to pay more money for licensed castings. Anyways, um, if you like collecting the uh, non-numbered recolors, enjoy. If you like basic treasure hunts, enjoy. If you like collecting movie cars, enjoy. If you like JDM, let me tell you, this case has quite a bit of JDM. Thank you for watching and happy collecting. Bye-bye.